It's up to us to have money, to be stewards of wealth. For the magic to work, you have to be willing to get vulnerable. You have to be willing to dive into your psyche. I just want to feel what that feels like. We are reflections of our magic, and so we can make anything happen and make anything come true. Ever since I spent the day with a real witch named Mia Magic, I have been fascinated with learning more about witchcraft and the truth about this ancient practice. I've realized how stigmatized and misunderstood witchcraft really is and how magic can actually work. Since meeting Mia, I've used magic to manifest all sorts of things and I even joined her witch school, which totally blew my mind. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so you don't miss that video coming soon. Mia also has this course called Witchy Rich, which is specifically about using magic to manifest money. My friend Alexis went through Witchy Rich and I couldn't believe the results she got. By week two, I had manifested $23,000. Like, it, it, <laughs> where did the money come from? The PPP, the payroll protection plan that the government put out for small businesses, it just appeared in my bank account. Wow. Like I didn't apply, I didn't send out any paperwork, nothing. It just appeared. At first I was like, oh my God, there is a mistake. Then it was realization like, oh my God, it worked. Ah! <laughs> Mia, I heard that Alexis made $23,000 in Witchy Rich. That's crazy. I really okay. want to do a money spell with you for a video. Are you down? Yeah, babe, of course. We got to teach all the aligned wisdom with the money. People say the money doesn't grow on trees. Yeah, right. It literally actually does. You got to give gratitude to the trees and that's when the money comes. I'm coming over. We're doing this. Let's make that money rain. <laughs> You know, I just need to say, like, I love money. I'm not afraid to admit it, but there are definitely a lot of blocks that I have around it. What I've learned through doing these videos with Mia is that for the magic to work, you have to be willing to get vulnerable. You have to be willing to dive into your psyche, your subconscious. And when it comes to money, I know that there's a lot within my subconscious that I'm always working through and really need to release in order for this money spell to hopefully work. I, I would not be opposed to manifesting some Bitcoin and some crypto as well. Hopefully like by next week, I'll be a millionaire. <laughs> there she is. Hi baby girl. Hi. Hi. Grand Rising Queen. Oh, Grand Rising. Mm -hmm. Welcome back. Thank you. Time for more magic. Time for more magic. We have so much to talk about. I need to update you on the on the results from the last spell. Thank Mia. So apparently the love spell is working. I think it is. Wow, this once the camera's off, I'm gonna get the real juice. Yeah, we can't see, say too much on camera, but okay. I'll give you all the juicy beats. Since I went through witch school and I'm a baby witch, I brought the materials for today's spell, as you instructed me. So we have everything yes, good. that we need. Okay. How I did like I this. do? Great job, baby and I got witch. Rose oh, honey. Good, rose honey. So tell me a little bit about how today's gonna go. We're going to do the honey jar spell with these yep. materials. What else? From my perspective, especially with money, the most important thing is understanding that all the stories that we're telling ourselves, any limitation we're experiencing, that is actually the roadmap. That is actually our key and our clue to navigate through our own psyche, working through whatever the stuff is in the mind that's keeping money from flowing. I'm sure you get this too, like with you charging your worth, you get hate for that. We need to talk about all of that. Like we need to talk about, especially as women, why it's important for us to step into our abundance. Yeah, because it's not really about the money itself. It's about the intention behind what you do with it. If women come into their power, then we can be a more aligned stewardess of the resources. Yes. Yeah. Let's, let's, get, let's get started. started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the first time I ever used magic to manifest money was on a candle spell. I was pretty broke at the time, living in my best friend's guest room. I had paid $10,000 on a credit card for a coach earlier that year, and we'd worked together for three months, and I just knew that I could do that same thing. I knew that because of the work that I'd done, that I was now worth transforming someone else's life. And so I did this spell, I used a red candle. I carved every word with my own fingernail, basically the things that the abundance was gonna make me feel, and I lit it, 
and I sat there with it for the whole two and a half hours that it took for it to burn. And I just envisioned this perfect client, this perfect person, this woman that I knew I could help, whoever she was, wherever she would come from. And I got a call the next day. She ended up coming over that afternoon. I said, this is how much I'm charging. She said, yes, $10,000 was in my account that afternoon. Honestly, even though it was exciting and amazing, at that moment, it just felt right. It just felt like this is what's supposed to be happening. This is because I have been doing the work. And so that was such a profound example, not only of magic working, but of witnessing how we are reflections of our magic. And so we can make anything happen and make anything come true. Why do we have such a broken relationship with money? It's crazy. Yeah, and well, we have a broken relationship to resources. That's why it's earth element is because right. we're disconnected from the earth and so we're disconnected to our relationship to resources. And then we think that mm -hmm. money is the only resource. In America, especially, and we're living like in a first world country, like where we have access to water, we have access to all these things yeah. like that we don't even think about. We don't even realize that a lot of people around the world don't have this, which I think is one reason why I feel a lot of guilt around wanting anything more than I have. What did I do to deserve this life? I got plopped into this body and I didn't have any say in it. Like I just landed here and I am so fucking lucky. Who am I to want anything more than that? Like who am I to, to be rich? Like I'm right now just like doing my channel, supporting myself. I, I don't have a thriving business. I still have student loans. I still have all this shit like that I'm trying to deal with when it comes to being financially free. But I also know that for me to be able to give is gonna require to have financial freedom for myself. Yes. I believe that it is the duty and obligation of people with higher consciousness or a deeper spiritual commitment to gain money and influence in order to transform things the same way as it is the duty and obligation of people with money and influence to gain higher consciousness. This is where we're sort of out of balance now, is that the people who are in power aren't really valuing their own divinity or their own connection to nature and they're doing the extractive things. So it's up to us. It's up to the people who are committed spiritually to be stewards of wealth, stewards of land. For me, money is about what I can do to positively impact the planet. So one of my courses, I told every single person, whatever amount of money you donate to Save the Redwoods, my personal favorite charity, because I love the Redwoods, I'll give you that as a discount off the course because I would rather that money go towards something that I care about than just directly towards me because I'm not in a place of need anymore. So for me, my relationship to money is also about how I can create a positive lasting impact on the planet and really support the things that I care about. And for me, primarily, it is my relationship to mother nature and to listening to her and letting her guide me that has ultimately blessed me with the external expression of financial abundance. Tell me about the honey jar spell. So the essence of this spell is that you can call in anything. You're calling it in with sweetness and ease and that kind of like slow sensuality of honey, whatever the desire is, whether it's a home or more money or inspiration or a partner or a new job, whatever it is, the process of watching it unfold and watching it blossom in your life is sweet and something that you can have patience for because of the deep appreciation you have for it. I want you to write down anything that you feel called to write about this money. So specifics about amount, how it feels. That's a really big part of the honey jar spell, that emotional energy. When you draw the emotions in and what the feelings are and the sensations of the money coming into your life, that's what then you're bringing sweetness to with the honey. For you especially, the energy is it's your why. It's I am so grateful to feel supported or I am so blessed to be fully financially free in creating my videos, in living my service. And so then it's all the energy that surrounds it that this money is bringing into your life. What are the stories that are still coming up for you around money? Growing up, money was equal to stress. Even if it wasn't talked about, I could feel it. Does that make sense? Yeah. My parents are the best people in the world. Like, again, don't know how I got so fucking lucky to land in the family that I did. I could feel also the stress around providing for yeah. four children. Yeah, that's a lot. a lot. Making money equaled, you had to 
grind yourself into the ground to even there be the potential to make enough money. Action and hard work is important, but it only works to a certain extent. I know that I'm still holding on to that old way of thinking because if I feel like it's easy to make money, I don't feel like I deserve it. Where do you feel that living? If you tune into your body, where mm -hmm. does the block feel like it is? It's definitely like sacral. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> so my intuition was right. Yeah. <laughs> so let's just tune into your sacral for a minute. Okay. The sacral chakra is your creative life force energy chakra. It's the second energy center from your body. Our waters, both sexes obviously are sacred waters emerge from there, but this is the energy of abundance and mm -hmm. pleasure. So let's just tune in there and feel, can you sense what the block feels like? Does it have an image or a texture or color? Mm -hmm. Anything you notice about it? It just feels kind of heavy. It's like uncomfortable. Bring all of your attention to that heavy discomfort and just ask it, what do you need? Freedom to be in my, like, in my sexuality, yeah. really. Perfect. <laughs> just not be afraid to be in my feminine. So can you feel what ways right now it's still feeling afraid to be in your feminine energy? I have this idea that in order to succeed, it has to be masculine, strong, yeah. doing. Or if I'm too in flow, there's no way that's possible for yeah. to have success. Can you feel where the root of that belief is? That it's not possible, it's <sighs> underneath that. Cause it just wants well, to- Well, oh, fuck. Yeah. It comes back to the fucking past life. Great. <sighs> I had the past life regression. I did this past life regression and I don't remember. I don't know if it was a real past life, but what came up was so scary because in my past life, I pretty much died not ever finding the success I wanted. Yeah. Just lost, searching for it, and leaving everything that mattered to me. Yeah. Never even came to fruition. So can you acknowledge right now to that root that you're not leaving anything behind now. Look at how you've been so committed to what you care about, to what you value, to your family, to everything that's important to you. The reason why I want success is I want my family. I want to like give them everything. Yeah. I want to give them myself too. Like I, I want to feel what it feels like. I just want to feel what that feels like. Yeah. It's like the fear of never experiencing what that feels like. Yeah, good. <laughs> good, good. You're doing great. Uh, like, I'm searching your whole life and trying and <laughs> fighting for what you want and like, it just still doesn't work. Yeah. And then you lose everything at the same time. Yeah. Ask the fear what it wants to experience. It just wants to feel safe. Good. And can you ask it what would make it feel safe? It just wants to be um, acknowledged. Acknowledged for what? For the work. Yeah. How does it want to be acknowledged? What does it want to hear? Can you say it out loud? What it wants to hear right now and just acknowledge it? I'm really proud of you. You're fucking committed. I acknowledge you for the continuation of that commitment. It's, it's not going anywhere. The willingness to just fucking do it. To put in the work. Even when it's hard to push through. To be in discomfort for the sake of the bigger meaning. Yeah. See your higher self looking at you with such radiant love. Such appreciation for your devotion, for the work you're doing. And your consistency in that commitment. Just feel that love and that safety to express everything that you are. I want you to just feel that hug from all of those facets of you, all that love in your life. <sighs> Here it is. <laughs> this is the spell. <laughs> 
makes the spell work. This is what okay? makes the fucking this is what spell the, work. Makes all the spells work. This. There we go. It's interesting trying to explain magic to someone who doesn't believe in it because we've been programmed to believe that magic is illusion. Oh, let me pull this rabbit out of a hat. Let me cut this woman in half. That's not what magic is. That's illusion. Most magic is hard to see. If you don't want to believe in it, you're lost. And I highly invite you to change your mind. I think you might really enjoy it. But basically what a money spell is, even if you don't believe in magic, is setting your attention and your intention towards the actualization or manifestation of a specific desire. So any spell is literally just the container for your attention and your intention. It's about creating an energetic vibrational exchange and commitment to whatever this little container is, whatever your spell is, and bringing forward all of the emotions and all of the sensations that you desire to feel when that manifestation comes to fruition. The main thing for me is that I'm just so grateful and blessed that I'm so supported financially to do what I love and share my passion for what I love. I can do it without stress. I can yeah. just do it with freedom and I can hire the best people and pay them well and pay them their worth and more and for my community too. I want people to just like give freely to them. Yeah, that's exactly what we want to put into this spell. <laughs> so I would fold up first your intentions and just read them aloud to yourself again one more time as you put them in and feel that feeling really draw in all of the emotions the experience make it sensual make it visual make it auditory feel it engage with it now I would fold up one of these and same just feel it though first this is what we've made abundance mean is this so just like feeling the like the richness of money like oh yes And then remember that even that, that paper. It's fucking paper. They made this. I'm just thanking them so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. And gold, metal, iron comes from inside of her. We just say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Pop one of these bad boys in there. Mini magnet. Mm -hmm. And just feel as you pop it in there, just it drawing all of that to you. It literally magnetizing all of those desires into your life. Mm -hmm. And now you want to pour your honey. Remember the sweetness and the beauty and the slow magic of honey, the nectar. Wow. Oh my goddess. The rose. Oh. Oh. Wow. And that's how the porn starts. Just kidding. <laughs> Patreon.com. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're gonna dip our candle wick in this honey. You do the honors. Mm -hmm. So as this is burning, now we're gonna do a little sacral chakra activation in order to just continue empowering and encouraging and inviting that energy in to flow through us. Like it's important for me to have money. It's important for me to feel safe so that I can give my gifts, so that I can share everything that I've learned along my path. And now that I feel truly like I am able to embody my own personal definition of success, and that then allows me to give more. It allows me to give people free scholarships into my programs who can't afford it. And when you are taken care of, you are much more capable of taking care of others. I want you to just, for two minutes, say the things to yourself in the mirror. Okay. Okay. I'm so proud of you. You're always working on yourself every fucking day. You're taking care of your body. You're telling the people you love, you love them. It's so weird. It's like, I don't feel like... That's part of it. This is the commitment. I... You want acknowledgement every single day? That's yeah, okay. but I can't take credit for this. Like. Yes, you can, my love. <laughs> no, it's not me. <laughs> it's not me, though. It's like, it's, it's my, uh, my family. It's my ancestors. It's uh, God. It's not me. Oh, my love, <laughs> you are their dreams come to life. 
You are the dream of God come to life. You are your ancestors. Every piece of work they put in, every step they took is to make you. But that's why you take credit for any of it. I'm not asking. For who I am. It's, it's. But, you, but you can love who you are. You can love who you are. Yeah. You don't have to take credit, but you can love who you are. Keep going. <laughs> I love that I recognize the gift. <laughs> I see it and I don't want to do any half ass of the gift. Just fully experience the gift. So I love that I acknowledge it and I see it in front of me. I don't want to waste any of it. Good. See, that's it, my love, right there. Mm -hmm. That's the invitation. Instead of saying, I can't take credit, I can't take credit. No, just honor it, just be grateful, just love it. That's what your soul wants to be acknowledged for, is that you're doing great. Uh -huh. And it's okay to love yourself uh -huh. and tell yourself <laughs> that you're doing great. Every day I want you doing this. <laughs> okay. Oh, every time I come meet you, Mia. <laughs> and I'm like, if I, I don't, don't get him to cry, I haven't done my job. Uh, oh. Seriously, it's like, it's the release is so yeah. important. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah. This is what your subconscious wants in order to reprogram these things. Mm -hmm. And then if you hold the honey jar next to it, holding all this energy, okay, this is me acknowledging myself. This is me giving myself what I need. This is me loving myself. This is me reminding myself that I feel safe. It's all tied in. The magic is a symbolic recognition of the inner work. Yeah. It's important that this wisdom continues that's what we're doing on youtube yeah it's continuing the wisdom and sharing it to millions of people yeah it's like what that's important this is another thing i wanted to touch on like people can are hating on spiritual teachers or you for charging a certain amount for your worth that is a projection onto you but acknowledging that it's important to be in alignment with your value and your worth. What do you want to say to the people who do criticize you? People's opinion about me in that way, at this point, doesn't affect me because I don't care. I know that's just their pain. I think this is the work that deserves to be rewarded and deserves to be acknowledged and deserves to be compensated because it's actually the hardest thing to do and it takes the most courage. In my experience, more and more people every single day are finding the value in the spiritual world. We'll see you again soon. I got more magic up my sleeve, honey. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, that's it. Bless. Bye. Hear the sound, honey, babe. Oh, it's all right, it's okay. We all have to pass someday. We all have to pass away. Hear the sound, honey, babe. Oh, it's alright, it's okay. We all have to pass someday.